Remember that extended stay on pit road I told you about with Kyle Busch? He's already raced, raced his way all the way to the top four as well. Those Joe Gibbs racing cars, two, three, and four right now. Pow, that was a love tap from Kyle Busch to Brad Keselowski, who lost a lot of momentum somehow at the end of the straightaway. But think about Jimmy McMurray in that one car. He got the free pass on that caution. He got such a runoff turn two the last time, he actually had to back up and almost stack the entire outside. Oh, oh around goes Kenseth. And up into Tony Stewart, and cars are in the wall hard. We see Carl Edwards there in the 99, Matt Kenseth in the 20. Danica hadn't hit anything, and then her her right front was hit by Ricky Stenhouse Jr. late in that crash. Stewart's car is hit hard against the wall. That's Jeff Gordon wedged in there too, isn't it, Mike? It is. Big crash. Matt Kenseth going around that's triggered all this. Remember uh, that Stewart who's moving around in the car, recuperating from that hard leg injury from six months ago. Kurt Busch is the third car in that pile. There goes Carl Edwards and what's left of his Ford. And Matt Kenseth is able to drive away, but with major damage. So too Danica Patrick, who spun and had it missed. All right, so there's Stuart Gordon and Kurt Busch. Jeff Gordon climbs out. He's okay. Kurt Busch climbs out. And Stuart's being helped from his car. Yeah, Tony has trouble getting in and out of his car under normal circumstances, so I'm sure he's just taking his time. Remember in uh, pre-race, Stewart said he installed a knee knocker off the steering column to help protect his legs. Good thing. And Tony's out of the car, completely under his own power, and that is a huge relief. It is that. Oh, boy. She went spinning through that crash, Mike, and hadn't hit a thing. But as they came out of the trial, Stenhouse Jr. drove into the side of her. Let's have a look from the Goodyear blimp first. All right, here's Matt Kenseth right there in the 20 car. Joey Logano on the inside. Kyle Busch is the yellow car on the outside. It's like Matt went to dive to the bottom and Joey was already had a nose in yep. there and around Kenseth went. You can see hard contact to the right front for Stewart. Edwards gets the right front of Stewart's car that tips it into the wall. Watch Danica. Yep. She's sliding. She hasn't hit anything. Nope. She's in the orange and green car. She thinks I've got this baby missed. But Stenhouse Jr. comes. Oh my goodness. All four Stuart Haas racing drivers were involved in that wreck. The bright yellow car, Kenseth, he's coming down because Brad Keselowski slowed up. He was trying to get out of that lane, but like you said, the 22 of Logano was already there. Logano got there. Matt decided he was going to hook a left and dive low. Dale Jr. misses it on the inside. Stenhouse was... Stenhouse was in the first crash. I don't think he had any steering, Larry, when he got to Danica. To the wall, to the wall. All good. Yellow's out, yellow's out, yellow's out. Wave them off. Big wreck behind you. That's what you want to hear from your spotter. If there's going to be a big wreck, it's behind you. You can see Ricky had been into the wall on the outside, and he's just helpless. No steering in that car. And that makes better sense because what I saw in the first replay, it's like he never slowed down. Maybe no steering, maybe no brakes, maybe neither one. At 194 miles per hour, Keselowski suddenly slows about three miles an hour and Kenseth tries to get away from him. Just wanted to, wanted to fill that hole on the bottom, but the hole filled itself. Yeah, Joy Logano on the 22 was all the way against the double yellow line. That's just a tough break for Danica. She lost control and was going to be just fine. And well, she tried to go to the inside, but Carl was there, so she juked to the outside, and the car got away from her. I watched the 24 of Jeff Gordon. There's Ryan Newman getting by. 
And look up top, Gordon Mike. tipped up into the 99 of Edwards, There's and Kurt Busch piles in in the 41. And then here comes Stenhouse, hard contact into the outside wall, into the back of Kurt wow. Busch. Lifted him up, lifted Gordon up. And now he's just a passenger. Yep. And that's why the 17 of Stenhouse had either no steering or no brakes and went straight into the path of Danica. Here it is. You're riding with Stenhouse. Wow. Carl Edwards out of the race, Steve Burns. And uh, Carl has had a chance to look at the replays a couple of times, and there's uh, not much to do but, I guess, laugh. <laughs> That's awfully expensive fun, but it is fun. <laughs> Everybody's having a good time. Uh, if, you, if you can look here, the Krylon's not even scratched, so the, the Krylon worked. But um, It's a mess besides that. Other, other than that, I mean, the deck lead looks good. Um, the rest of it's pretty torn up. I, I did learn a bunch, though, and that's the key to this race. Even though we got a torn up race car, the guys worked really hard on it, and it's a shame. We learned a bunch, had some fun. I think we're, we're better in a better position for the qualifying race than the 500. Carl, you looked at the replays a bunch of times. What did you think when you saw it? <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's too bad, but um, it looked like Matt just pulled down in, in front of uh, Joey there. The way we're racing out there, I mean, you, you, things like that are going to happen. Matt's, he's good, and he's, he's good enough to know that he did that, too. I think he already said he did it. So, um, hell, it's, it's racing. I mean, we're, we're going hard, and that's what tonight was about. There's, I mean, it's about checkers or wreckers, and we ended up with the, the latter. All right, thanks, bud. All right, thanks. All right, behind the pace car, the remaining cars are being pulled down pit road. They will park in their pit stalls and repairs will be allowed. Huge break for Ryan Newman. We got a report that he had power steering issues. A six car jam session in the Sprint Unlimited.